in the 0-1. Oh, and he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Yelich on the move, but this will land untouched. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Number 19. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. One out, nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Yelich is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And with two gone now, we'll look at our up-to-the-minute playoff tree. And the question becomes, will we be able to fill a spot in the ALCS after the game, or will we need a game five to decide a winner in the series? First offering on its way. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Look out. 2-0 and now. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. He's fallen behind now, three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's a foul ball, according to the ump down the line. Hmm, awfully close that time. And now we're going to get a stoppage here as the four umpires will gather together near third base to discuss whether or not that was really a foul ball. And remember now, if there's any uncertainty, the umpires can go inside to get a look at the video feed from headquarters in New York. And I believe that's exactly what they're going to do. We'll give you a look at this from our own cameras and let you make the call for yourself. That's lifted the other way out to left. Santana is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. We play two and a half. It's a two-to-one Boston advantage. And here's Jose Peraza. Oh, for one here in the early going. First pitch of the at-bat. Oh, oh, a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here. But he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath. Take a step out of the box. And know you got a few to play with. Hit softly down the line at first. But a foul ball. And the count holds at 0 and 2. The next 0-2. Line towards center field. But this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. Up next for Oakland. In is Christian Yelich. Right he scored a run Rick after Yelich. stroking a double in his first at bat. Yelich. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this AB. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. One and two for Christian Yelich. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. Do it again, I dare you. Swing and a liner. Try there, but he comes up a bit short as this is into left center. The base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. Aaron. One's right at one guy, and then one's a God. single. Go figure. In now, Aaron Judge. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at bat here at strike one. One for one after a single his first time up.
changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Obviously looking to pull the baseball right there out in front on that off speed pitch. This will be an interesting sequence right here to see if he slows him down even more or tries to run a heater by him. Hit on the ground to third. Relay to first in time and just like that this side. Late now is the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. No balls in one strike. Kluber steps into his windup. 0 1 on its way. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. These are the at bats that can just flat out frustrate you. You go up there with a plan to work the count, and now you find yourself down 0 2, scratching your head because every quadrant's open for the pitcher now. Yelich able to take this one in, and there's your first out. Now back. Digging in now, Cody Bellinger. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. Bellinger is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pole guy. You want to try and... Oh, and he can't take it up cleanly. No, he's safe. Here's the catcher, Wilson Rumble. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyer. Good pitch there. Called a strike on the inside corner. Bellinger stands at first with one out. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Hard sinker misses two and two. Hey, great job right there. Anytime you're down 0-2, I think it's a successful at bat if you can work it back to an even count and at least give yourself a chance. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Well, a 3-2 count and a guy that handles the bat up at the plate. This is a great time to put that runner on first in motion. The bat over the left. First offering on its way. In there, strike one. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Hit the other way out toward right field. Yelich is under it and he makes the catch for the second out. And he'll take those extra 90 feet. So put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And into bed next will be the outfielder David Dahl. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Two runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Hit back up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's now 3 to 1. Hey, there's a good job of battling right there, D Row. Pitcher have the advantage with two outs, two strikes. You're one pitch away, and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. That's the type of hitter this guy is, and he was able to come through. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And Here's Chris Bryant now. The athletic. The third baseman. Outfield Red. shaded a bit to left center. The first oh, pitch. Yes. Hot shot on the ground is short. And that's out number one. Now that. The so baseman. the bases are empty with one yeah. man gone. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitter Max Muncy. In there and it's 0-1. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Oh, and it's one and one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Throw to first. Yeah. We'll take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. So coming to the plate, Domingo Santana, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got it. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It 
It's a solo shot here for Domingo Santana. His third home run of this series. And the A's have made this a three to two ball game now. Well, he was on cruise control, just needing one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the a opposite field, field or shortening five. the swing to move the runners. Albert. He just wound up and went a rip. A solo shot is the result. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. The A's strike for one on the solo homer. We played four. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Stepping in. Leading off for the Red Sox. The right fielder, number 19, Mitch Hanniger. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Liner in there for a base hit. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate. Starling Marte. Already two for two. He'll look to add on right here. Kluber pauses. Here he comes 0-1. And he popped him up. Muncie in foul ground. And no one will track it down. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. Boy that's a great take right there. He might have been frozen by that pitch. But it missed by just enough to give him life in this A.B. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They, they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. Now that Ready once again, Ben Zobris. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. 1 and 0 oh, the count. A line shot to third base. Quick throw, not in time. Up next for the Red Sox. First That's pitch the of the at bat. No, yeah. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Red Sox leave one. They're up. Back at the Oakland Coliseum, and before we go much further, let's check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. All right, Heidi, thank you. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. I love the aggressive approach at the plate, but if you're not seeing the ball, maybe you have to take a step back. You find yourself with two strikes absolutely battling for your life right now. Popped him up. Zobrist is there. One out. The batter, number two. So one away here with the bases Jonathan. empty and the switch hitter Jonathan Villar will be the next to bat. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. The batter number 11. So bases are empty here with two gone. Okay. And digging into bat next it'll be Jose oh, Peraza. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. He's certainly done an amazing job right here, grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking. He would love to see 3 4 5 with no one on base next inning. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Next will be the cleanup. Number 35, 
Will Harris Gordon takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the A's, number 36, Will Harris. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. There's the cut fastball, but it's low, 1 and 0. Good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back to back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Now back. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. To me, getting ahead 0 1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on swivel. And a cold strike on the outside part of the plate. And he's way off balance with the swing there. 3 twos our score here in inning number six. 1-2 and two to the Boston shortstop. Skied into very shallow right. Yelich is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they still lead it three. Ready for another shot now. Christian Yelich. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. I know it goes without saying, but the best pitch in baseball is getting ahead with a first pitch strike. That's why this guy's been able to stay in this game. Pounding the zone. Backhanded. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The designated hitter. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Aaron Judge. A hit in two tries so far. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. Pops this one up. But this will land untouched. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Striding into the box, Chris Bryant. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big hitting on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. And it's fouled away. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Dahl, and the inning is over. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. One for two on his line so far in the game. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And that one cut a little too much, a ball and a strike. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Yelich is under it. One away. The third base at the plate. Alex Bregman, Alex. third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. 0 and 1 the count. Counts nope. even 1 and 1 to Alex Bregman. This is in the air to left. Moving under it, Santana. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. At the plate, Mitch Henniger, career numbers against Will Harris. Two hits in seven tries. Strike one to start the at bat. And here's a ball hit in the air, but this will land untouched. Hit the other way out toward right field. Yelich is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Now at the plate, Max Muncy. He lined out his first time around and then went down on strikes last time up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Runs up and gets this one down. Bregman gloves it, 
And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now that what Trying to pick things up where Let we left go. off. Domingo Santana, yeah. one for two in the ball game thus far. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Hey, that's another nice two-seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee, getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. And they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Now so two are gone now well, in the Oakland field. half of the seventh. Albert. And into bed Albert. next Albert. is Albert Almora. And he fouls this one off. Very tight ball game. Three to two our score in inning number seven. On the ground to third. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He most certainly does. Ten straight. He's with. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Starling Marte. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously now, one of them. Another the base. base hit leading Damn. off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Pitch inside the throw. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. This is pulled into right. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Now that, that was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. And the insurance run comes across to score from third. It's four to two. Now that, the first base. Comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. This is pulled into right. Oh, and he misses it. He's in at second safely as a run will score on the play as well. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a liner to left center field, and that's going to drop in for a base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. He pulls into second safely as also on the play a run comes across to score. The bat number 11. From the stretch here's the pitch. The first pitch is a cutter looked at 0 1. A swing and a ball to left field that's going to get down for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third so their runners at the corners now with one away. The left field. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a seven to two ball game. Now batter. Stepping in, Alex Bregman. Alex. He flew out in his last at bat. High in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself at bad counts. Striding in for Boston, Mitch Henniger. He hits here in a spot. On where he might be. just another win but it's awfully hard to win in this game especially on the road but they find a way to get it done and they should be very happy with this performance well heroes are made in the postseason